Hey guys, welcome back to another video on EV Pickers. So, um, Ava here, um, and we're going to be packaging a Houston Oilers football vintage cup, and it's pretty cool. It's got Oilers on it. It's cool. So we're going to be packaging that up. Just sold, yes. So we're going to grab some of our newspaper here. We're just going to rip some up. Well, not rip it up. We're just going to grab some. I mean, it doesn't matter about the packaging because we just want to get it to our um, our customer safely and great because this is actually a really cool cup. I would use this cup. So we're going to... How about we grab a small bag and we'll just rip some up and put it in the sides. Shove it all in there so it doesn't crack. More? More? Yeah. We don't feel more. Make it secure. Like that. See? Here. I'm just using anything because I don't want it to be broken. It's a pretty cool cup and I would hate for us to get a bad review and our customer not be happy. I'm just ripping up small pieces right now. So it fits good and it just doesn't all come out. usually get to wrap things like this. Is it going to fit in here? Just testing if it fits. I'm not giving very clear instruction. Like that? Mm -hmm. That's not... I can't rip it. I don't know how. Our tape gun is very weird. Never cooperates. It's not, the, it's not the tape gun, I don't think. I think it's user error. <laughs> you. No, you. And me. Okay, hold on. Let's get the ends. Ends? Don't come sliding out. It's going to be hard for them to open. There's the thing. Should we wrap it with this next? No. Put that in the, in the box. If it fits. It'll fit. I don't want to break the glass. Are you sure? I mean, we might need a bigger box. my idea to use that much bubble wrap. I mean, <laughs> Ooh. sorry, go. sorry guys, we're having some technical issues. Hey, 
kidding me? There's no more tape on this thing. There's no more tape on it. Okay. The box is ruined. You had it the wrong way. I need gloves. There. Okay. To the buyer. Oops. Are you gonna fold it? I can't leave it. And then we have a sticker for them here. I'm gonna put the sticker inside so it doesn't get lost in all the bags in there. Our packaging so it doesn't break. I'm gonna put it on top if it'll fit. Okay. We got it. This is a new box, so it's not Want folded. Me to tape the top for you? No. Where'd the tape go? We lost the tape. You want me to help you find the end? Here, let me help you. Right here. I'm really good at finding tape ends. But it's just really hard to get off.
I'm cutting this piece of tape. tape sticks. I mean, I know that's the purpose of tape, but I don't care. Yeah, I think the scissors would be a way better route for me. I think I'm going to have to put a little bit more tape right here. It's going to come off. Hmm? All the way. All the way? Yeah. It's sticking to the metal thing. So now what? Well, I put a late address label on it, but not now. Not on camera. No. How about away from them? Alright, so that's our sale. Make sure. Oh, yeah. Well, stay tuned. Make sure to not click away. And before you go over to my dad, make sure to like subscribe hit that bell so you never miss a video i'm gonna say this at the end too but let's go see my dad bye guys hey guys paul here with eup pickers just wanted to show you a little bit of the thrift hauls i've grabbed over the week um let's see um let's see first off we picked up a pioneer Set player CTS 600. Um, haven't tested it yet, but that was three dollars. Um, we're going for about up to about fifty dollars. Um, the guy Salvation Army told me that they brought in a whole system, each all components, and this is the only one that worked, which is surprising because the tape player usually goes first. And let's see, next off, picked up this Sony CFD F10 CD radio cassette quarter with dual acoustic bass expansion. Got that at Goodwill today. They wanted they wanted $24.99 for it. And after my discount. Ended up being about $19.99. So about $20. Um, looks like they're going from $80 to $100. Um, the radio works good and everything. The uh, antenna is all there. Um, I got to put a cassette tape in it and a CD to make sure they work. But it's pretty nice. It was a little dirty. Really hate having to pay those prices that Goodwill charges on some stuff. But... It is what it is. Um, also picked up this Hammaker Schlemmer radio controlled clock with a projection. It'll project the uh, time on the ceiling. And yeah, so what else did I get? I picked up, picked up some more Tupperware I found the other day. Just three pieces canister and two little uh smaller canisters um i don't know probably lock those up picked up some corel salad plates dessert plates there's 10 of them um picked up an eight millimeter high grade camcorder video cassette brand new in the package that was 99 cents 
Um, picked up Fantasia. Probably just for the personal collection. Whoops. And uh, also Goodwill. They had Guitar Hero Van Halen Edition. So that looks like it's selling for about fifteen or fifteen to twenty dollars ish. Um, I also picked up new in box MC Escher jigsaw puzzle. I believe it's uh two hundred and two sixteen two hundred and sixteen pieces. And we'll see what that does. Yeah, it looks like those go for between ten and fifteen dollars. Not a whole lot, but that was pretty cool. Um, and then here at, uh, Salvation Army, I picked up this Eva Gloss Razor Bump Stopper and Dark Spot Corrector. Brand new in the package. Looks like those go for $12. Probably 12 I think 10 to $12. Uh, picked up a couple Corningware mugs. Or coffee cups. Those are kind of nice. And let's see. Picked up this brand new Wustoff knife case. Um, that was 50 cents at Goodwill, surprisingly. Looks like those go for about 18 to 20, maybe a little bit more. Um, and this, I thought this was kind of cool. This is a mini Annie Resusc resuscitation dummy. It's a mini one for practicing CPR. That was $3 at Salvation Army. I didn't see any sold comps, but I did see one other one for sale. It's like $25. Listed for $25, $19, somewhere in that range. Kind of cool. I wasn't sure what it was, and I took a, <laughs> I took a chance on it. So... That's about it, guys. Um, working on the the garage a little bit. I got another thing of shelves. Got to bring some more stuff out. We, uh, as you saw earlier, we sold a, a vintage Houston Oilers glass, and yes, and yesterday sold two hats. I sold a Los Angeles Dodgers hat and a Anaheim Ducks hat. And the Dodgers hat I sold like right after I listed it. I probably listed it a little bit too low, but it's okay. It only costs a dollar. Um, I got a couple other hats listed. Sales have been okay this week. You know, a couple, a couple here and there, three or four things this week, which is cool. It's getting better. And uh, got to go get some more listings in and go from there. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss another video. And we are going to be doing a giveaway once we reach 50 subscribers and then every 100 after that. I'm not sure what it's going to be. If it's going to be PayPal money or a treasure we found or something. But we'll figure it out. It'll be something kind of cool. And that's about it. Have a great day, guys. Later.